there. Uh, my name is Jeff Fennell. I'm with Bot and Dolly, and we're here at the uh, Bot and Dolly booth at Cinegear, and we are launching our, our new product, Iris, which is a motion control camera system. It's a seven-axis robot um, that can hold 250 pounds and move it around with uh, sub-millimeter precision. Uh, what makes it unique is that um, we can we can lift more and we're more rigid uh, than our competitors as well. We have more joints in our arms, so we can get into places that a uh, traditional um, system wouldn't be able to articulate into. So we actually have robots that are larger than this, uh, and uh, we have robots that will hold a thousand pounds, and we use them uh, to move set pieces and to move uh, people in front of cameras. For example, if you're trying to make somebody fly, if you're trying to put somebody on a broomstick, uh, you might use a system like this, put a rod on the end, um, and then we can we have software that allows us to move the actor, um, and the robot figures out all of its own motion. And we also have very small robots that are far more manageable um, and to get into tighter spaces or, or to move around. Um, but generally, um, we're doing something that's of a certain complexity that there's, there's enough time to set up, or we're working in a studio environment where it's installed. Um, another application of, of this technology and, and the smaller robots um, is we do a lot of product photography with them, so if we're shooting an Xbox or a TV or a cell phone, we have to be extremely stable and we maybe have to do repeat passes, uh, we use one of our smaller rigs for that. If we're shooting a car, uh, then we use the larger rig because you need to have that range of motion uh, to get around the uh, vehicle. Um, and we can coordinate the motion of multiple robots, so if we need to lift something very heavy or have two robots holding a giant piece of a set, we can do that kind of thing. Additionally, um, we, we have giant robots, but we, we actually like to think of ourselves as a software company. Um, we have a lot of advanced software tools um, that are standardized, and so uh, we use Maya to control our robots, and so that means that there's nine million robot operators right now in the world that, that can run this rig. Uh, so there's nothing special about it. If you can animate a camera in Maya, you hit one button and it publishes to the set, to any number of robots, and uh, they're all synchronized together. So uh, that's, that's uh, sort of a big differentiator in that we don't have any conversion process. If you can work in Maya, you can run this robot. Additionally, we have uh, controllers uh, such as this one that allow us to slow down and speed up moves, scrub through them. This displays uh, the frame rate and uh, the time code and all that information is, is displayed on the iPhone. Um, and this knob is uh, controlling the system in real time as far as playback goes. Uh, if you want to work in a more traditional way, we can also move the robot around and then take that data back in and keyframe it and go from point A to B and, and interpolate. But um, uh, it's really the software tool set that we're, we're most proud of, and we have a, a very efficient way to work on set, uh, and uh, also a way that's very comfortable for people that are used to doing a lot of post-production.